Hi everyone, welcome back to Staffordshire Car Care and this episode we have a lot of vehicles to show you what they are in for and what they look like when they're finished and we have lots of your questions to answer as well. So stick around and let's get right into it. The Toyota Yaris GR is here amongst other treatments for paint protection film. Paint protection film is that clear material you see us laying on the surface, but what is all that moisture and all that water? It is slip solution. And the question that we've been asked is, what is in your slip solution? Very simple, two, thi two things, water and baby shampoo. Baby shampoo or it can differ between different installers, but the principle is still the same. It allows you to maneuver and accurately place the PPF into position to squeeze you down, lay your film, job done. It can take a couple of three weeks to fully evaporate and settle, but that answers the question. It is simply water and baby shampoo. So let's dig into another question and the question that we got asked was what tyre dressing do you use for a satin finish and it is a good question. The product that we use, you can just see it behind us there, is Gion Q2 Tyre. Gion Q2 Tyre is a silica dioxide infused dressing. You can work it into the surface of your tyre and it creates a hydrophobic surface helping the brake dust that's come off your brakes that has stuck to the surface of your tire to be removed nice and easily with very li limited amount of product. Why a satin finish, why a gloss finish? The is purely a personal preference, but the downside to having a glossy finish and it will be determined between the time of installation and when you drive away, that product can flick down the side of your car. Now, obviously being a greasy product, you come to shampoo the car next time, you try to rinse it away, you rub your wash mitt over the top of the surface of the paint and you're dragging tire dressing along with it. It's going to be quite ugly. The benefit to Gion Q2 tire, that won't be the issue because you will apply it to the surface of the tire, work in with a microfiber towel to get the desired finish you are looking for, leave to dry and then you will have no tire flick down the side. That answers that question and let's go and see what else is happening. A while back in 2018, we machine polished and ceramic coated this Ford Mustang GT in bright yellow. Wheels came back, they were an upgraded wheel to the Shelby wheel. We re-ceramic coated those and then here it is back again um, for a health check. We've checked it all over. All we can see on the surface are a few contaminants, maybe from brake dust or some fallout of some description that has reacted really well and has been removed by Q2M iron. Rinsed it down, shampooed, dried, everything looks absolutely brilliant. Customer has kept care of this car very, very well. Here is what the car looks like three years on. Right then, it's spring and hopefully the nice warm weather it's on its way and the sunshine is out and you're washing your car over a weekend, but oh dear. You start to get watermarks on your paint or glass and how do we fix it? First of all, we can reach out for Gion Water Spot Remover. That may solve the problem in spritzing onto the surface, gently wiping it with a microfiber towel and that should drag those minerals off the surface. But first of all, how do we avoid it? 
Don't wash the car in direct sunlight. Wait for the cool mornings or cool evenings to be washing your car. Essentially, the water has dried out, leaving the minerals stuck to the surface. So I hope that answers the question and let's find out what else is happening this week. So we kick starting the week off with this Porsche Cayman 718. It's a 2018, it's covered a few miles and it's here for a two stage machine polish. Ceramic coatings to the paint, wheels, glass, interior, everything is normal and paint protection film being applied to the bonnet, bumper, wings, mirrors, headlights, sills and rear bumper splashes. Perfect for a track day or just generally just stopping all that impact damage coming to the front and the rotation of wheels and scattering small stones down the side of your car. The Mini here for a new car paint protection treatment, having paint protection film also, bonnet from bumper, wings, mirrors. We're gonna put a little impact section just here. Also having ceramic coatings to the paint, wheels, glass and interior too. Stick around and we'll show you what these two cars look like when they're completed and we'll also be answering your questions. Okay, so the Toyota Yaris GR wheels have been removed. They've been lent up on these plaques labeled offside front, offside rear, near side front, near side rear, so we know what wheel corresponds to what corner. Q2 rim is the product that's going to be applied to the faces and the barrels, and we are going to be applying the coating to the calipers too. Let's go and have a look. So the brake calipers are going to be coated in Q2 rim, as well as the lug nuts and the hub part of the brake disc. Wheel arch liners, these plastic trim areas, are going to be coated in Q2 trim. And also, just to make things nice and easy in this general area to be pressure washed away the dirt and make things nice and easy for you. We'll show you what's involved in that coming up. So it's very early in the morning. We've got the Mini Cooper S ready for collection very, very soon. Hand over at nine o'clock in the morning. What have we done to this car? A single stage machine polished throughout the whole car. That's gonna prepare the paint ready for paint protection film to the bonnet from bumper, wings and rear arch impact kit, helping with the rotation of the wheel, flicking up debris down the side and reduce that rushing that happens on the rear arch. Also wing mirrors, interior, Fabrics and leathers, both been protected in Q2 fabric coat and the leather coat. Wheels removed, coated in Q2 rim. Arches in Q2 trim, as with the calipers, etc. or to make things nice and easy to keep clean in the future. Car will be going out very soon, like I said. Uh, here's what it looks like now it's been finished. So that's the Mini Cooper S leaving us and we're looking forward to seeing that car back very soon for its health check. And as you can see, we do a fair amount of brand new cars here. It makes sense, right? Get the protection on the car as fresh as the car comes from the factory. But you've been offered a protection from your dealership. What is the difference between coming to a car detailing studio or having the sealants or protection applied at the dealership? 
the question to ask your dealership is what preparation are you doing prior to the installation of your protection? As you can see in these clips, there is a, like a purple uh, residue on the surface. That is the Gion Q2M iron reacting with the contaminants on the surface of the paint, which needs to be removed prior to any installation of coating. There will be other deposits and various amounts of contamination on the surface because it has had to travel a certain distance between factory and dealership. You do not want the dealership or somewhere applying a sealant or a coating on top of these contaminants because the product will not work. So besides if the product is good or is it bad, main question to ask is how it is installed and what is involved in the installation process. What's happening now? Let's go and have a look. The Range Rover Sport behind me is up on the ramps waiting for its wheels to be removed so they can be coated in Gion Q2 rim as well as the calipers and hubs. Fabric coat is going to be applied to the arch liners because they are like a textured fabric material. So that will help with the removal of dirt with these type of cars gonna be used for hopefully off-roading or maybe some dirt's gonna be in the wheel arches that will need to be removed. Single stage machine polish to the paint to prepare for a ceramic coating and then the interior will also need a good clean and that will be uh, then installed with Q2 leather coat and then Q2 fabric coat, along with a product Q2 view for the front screen and two side windows. Let's see what's involved and what goes on through those processes. <laughs> And the SQ8 is having its final checks done right now as we speak as the customer is arriving literally in 20 minutes. So two stage machine polish, ceramic coatings to the paint and wheels only and some glass water repellent on the glass. Here is what it looks like now it's been finished. <music> the Audi SQ8 all finished and as you can see it looks absolutely brilliant and off to another happy customer. Let's go over to the Porsche 718. As you can see it is a little on the mucky side. May have been left outside for some time but let's dig out the Gion APC at Bug and Grime, Q2M iron, wheel cleaners and get this car nice and clean and prepared for its two-stage machine polish, PPF and various other protection treatments too. So after a very good wash, decontamination, machine polishing, ceramic coatings, PPF, interior wheels, it is finally time to show you the results of the Porsche 718 Cayman. And here it is.
Some of you may be experiencing the delays between ordering your brand new car and then the notification to say, it's ready, come and pick it up. We are noticing an increased amount of people to say my car has been delayed, but then out of the blue, it's ready, it's arrived. So we've had to pull in the hours this bank holiday weekend to come in to get this brand new BMW X4 prepared and ready for its new keeper. It's been a busy bank holiday weekend. We've had to come in to get this BMW X4 M40D completed for the customer to collect first thing today, Tuesday morning. What has this car had? Well, it's had an, a ceramic coating, Gion Mohs Evo to the paint. It's had Q2 rim to the wheels, as well as Q2 trim to the wheel arches and calipers, etc. you name it, as normal to make things nice and easy to clean in those areas. It has had an interior protection too, leather coat and fabric coat to the interior. It has now been completed, it's all ready to go and this is what the car looks like. Now it's been completed. So that brings us to the end of this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the icon button to be notified when our next video is uploaded. A full studio ready for next week's work. Keep a look out for future content and thank you very much for watching. Take care, see you soon.